I'm Sean and in this video I'm going to show you what to expect should you consider going for a hike at the Fort Tracker Monument. This video is primarily focused on my hike there. However, if you would like to dive deeper into everything the Fort Tracker Monument has to offer, I've got a video just for you. There will be a link in the description below that will take you straight there. It's going to show you all the ins and outs of the Fort Tracker Monument and what you can expect there in terms of activities. Okay. Then also in this specific video, there will be links in the description below that is uh, one of them is a Google map that will take you straight to the Fort Tracker Monument. The other one is a link to the Fort Tracker Monument's website. And then there's also a link to the Adventure Zone guys. These are the Adventure Zone guys. They pretty much manage all things fun and games at the Fort Tracker Monument. Then um, also, if you would like to move faster through this video, you're only interested in the Q&A section or the video clips I took along my hiking route, you can have a look in the description below. There will be time stabs and also chapters below. Just click on it and we'll take you straight to a specific section in this video. Let's move on to the Q&A section. Okay, let's start off with the questions. The first question is, where is it situated? Okay, so like previously mentioned, I dropped a link in the description below. It is a Google map that will take you straight to the Voortrekker monument. Let's move on to the next question. What is the operating hours? Okay, so um, the operating hours of the monument, last time I checked, is Mondays to Sundays, 8 in the morning until 6 in the afternoon. So yeah, let me just repeat that. It's Monday to Sunday, 8 in the morning until 6 in the afternoon. Lots of time for fun and games at the Fort Tracker Monument. Let's move on to the next question. What does it cost? Okay, um, on the day of the hike, um, now, let me start from the beginning. I paid for the hike prior to, to my hike uh, on that day. Uh, I went for the hike on Women's Day, which was the Tuesday. But a week before, I paid for a ticket online via the Adventure Zone guys. You can actually buy hiking tickets on their website for the Fur Tracker Monument. That cost 80 bucks. Then you're looking at a 20 Rand heritage fee and a 30 Rand... Um, parking fee all in all it cost me 130 bucks at the gate they're going to give you one of these which you need to pay at the info desk before you leave they won't allow you to exit if you haven't paid this ticket so yeah 80 bucks goes to the adventure zone guys 20 bucks goes to the monument for a heritage fee and another 30 30 bucks also goes to the monument for a parking spot nice thing about it is they give you a five rand discount if you're interested in going for a breakfast or a little luncheon at the school or villa restaurant this can be done after your hike i think it's a nice way to finish it off so yeah that's what it's going to cost you 100 rand per person hiking at 30 bucks for whoever drives you guys there additional okay let's move on to the next question um what trails do they have okay let me break it down for you. They've got the yellow trail, which is three kilometers. They've got the red trail, which is six kilometers. And they have the blue trail, which is nine kilometers. I did the nine kilometer trail. It runs all the way around the Fort Tracker Monument, all the way up to Fort Skanskop, and then back to the monument. Quite a challenge to hike. All in all, it was about 11 kilometers, uh, according to the app I use that tracks my 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 um hike so yeah those are the trails um let me just tell you the the it starts off with the yellow trail and then along the route you can decide if you want to branch off to the red trail which is six kilometers or the blue trail which is nine kilometers starting off with the yellow and then you can just branch into the different trails as you go along okay let's move on to the next question how long does it take well um that depends on how fast you walk and how many pit stops you have all in all uh, during my hike it took me around four hours 
plus minus yeah it was about four hours um, but i do make videos along the route which takes time moving back and forth uh, making these videos and my pit stops i wouldn't say my pit stops is too long you're looking about five to ten minutes and that maybe happens once or twice during my hike so yeah you're looking at two to four hours depending on how fast you hike and how many pit stops you make okay let's move on to the next question what is the conditions of the trail in my opinion the conditions of the trail is good it's very well marked you have a good idea of where you need to go it's it's marked out with the with the with the uh, it's very well marked off with the yellow red and blue uh, arrows that direction where you need to go and also the trail itself is clean and it seems to be well managed uh, you, you, the walkways are uh, uh, well maintained you can see where you need to go and um, it's clean so yeah definitely i would say the conditions of the hiking trails are there if you had to put a rate on it of one being bad, five being super good, I would give it a four out of five. There's always uh, space for improvement, but it's good enough. You'll definitely know where you need to go during your hike there. Let's move on to the last question. Is it safe? Um, in my opinion, it's safe. I did a solo hike that day and I didn't feel unsafe in any way whatsoever during my hike at the foot tracker monument that day if you want to add an extra layer of safety i recommend you go on weekends and public holidays and also take someone with you it's more fun to hike with others as well so yeah in terms of safety that's what you can do public holidays weekends and take a friend with yeah i think it's safe enough that's it for the Q&A section. Let's move on and go and have a look at the video clips. Job fills your pocket but adventure fills your soul. Couldn't agree more. I just uh, saw a, a sign that uh, I think is uh, unique. It said, every, every step you take is a step closer to the end. Every step you take is a step closer to the end. Think about that. Especially if you're on the wrong side of 40. Sure. Every morning when you wake up, I think it's a win. If you wake up in the morning, it's a win. Another day, another chance to get it right. 1% better every day. Okay, let me just give you a very, very good example of how important these markers are. When I got here, it looked like this. And I actually went down that way. Um, luckily, soon enough, I noticed that it's definitely the wrong direction I can't see any other markers so I backtracked and then I realized this thing is actually loose and it should be like this we need to go left and then when you go left you see another yellow marker now we are on the right track so yeah markers along the hiking trail is key it's important <laughs> moving on ah i 
think here's the cross road uh, Inku was talking about which uh, you can either go on the yellow trail which is the three kilometers back to the monument side or you stay on the blue which is the nine kilometer one I vouch for the blue let's go blue okay moving on Exco Isai looks like uh, looks like the the mountain bike works. It's also a lot of space here at the monument for riding your bike, huh? Off road and on the tall roads around the monument. Also another thing, uh, they've got a market here today. Depending on how long the the nine kilometer hike goes i think it's probably going to take anything from around two to four hours depending on how fast i walk we can check out the market day i don't know how long the market day uh, goes for i don't know if it's a morning thing or all day thing so if there's time and the market day is still going uh, i'll show you guys what it looks like at the Fort tracker monument market day Lots of Bura uh, Dikis and Dikis. Okay, moving on. Also, um, while I'm thinking about it, as I was discussing my hike at uh, the Adventure Zone guys stand, uh, according to Hinku, <laughs> They were actually kind enough to drop me one of their uh, numbers, Hinku's number, for in case uh, you get hurt somewhere along along the route. They will actually jump on one of those four wheelers and come and fetch you. So yeah, shout out to the Adventure Zone guys for offering that service. I think that's quite cool. Yeah, thought I'd just mention that. So keep that in mind. There is an emergency service should you get hurt along the route at the Fort Trekker Monument that will actually come and fetch you. Okay, moving on. Okay, now we're going up. It looks like uh, we're walking towards, uh, or I'm walking towards Fort. Fort Skanskop, which is here. Yeah, and then um, if you go, if you look way to your right, this is Fort Klapperkop, which is a completely different video. So both uh, these two forts are across from um, one another. Fort Skanskop in uh, Fort Lapperkop, which is that side. Uh, I think mean battles were fought here in the past. So yeah, I'm uh, making my way up towards uh, Fort Skanskop. Show you how to, what it looks like up there. Let's go. Welcome to our Yeah, the Telcom Tower. 
just above Unisa. If you know where Unisa is, um, that's where the Talcum Tower is. So, if you look to the right here, this is Fort Klapperkop. The one I was talking about previously. There you can actually see it much better. Fort Klapperkop. You can actually, there's also a museum like uh, Fort Skanskop. And you can go for hiking and biking and trail running there as well. Fort Skanskop. Fort Klapperkop. Right. And on this side, this side is uh, Fort Skanskop. It looks like the blue, blue trail is going up to uh, Fort Skanskop. Let's see. Moving on. There's a good uh, There's a good example Telkom Tower Inisa University of South Africa
Okay, um, I hope you found those videos uh, entertaining and educational. If you have any questions, please drop it in the comments below and I'm going to try my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Then also if you've liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you would like to stay in the loop, hit on that subscribe button and notification bell and you will be informed of each and every new video as and when I upload it. Thanks for stopping by and also please go and check out one of these two videos.